Hey, I'm Chris with Razorback Off-Road. I'm the engineer that worked on our new Polaris Ranger folding front windshield. We've been working on it for quite some time now and we're really excited to share it with you. So I'm gonna run through some of our uh, features and benefits for this. On this new window, we actually came out with a automotive style windshield wiper, so it's much larger. Um, we wanted it to hit as much of the glass as possible. You still got your lever in here, manual wiper, so you can wipe whenever you need to. Um, along with that, we fit the largest piece of glass we could inside this roll cage. It really gives you the widest viewing area as possible. We also included our uh, RBO style vent, just like all our other windshields. You've got some nice aluminum flaps in here. You can control all the airflow in your cab when your windshield's up. Or you can go ahead and flip it right down. We have a latch here on this side. Just walk right over, flip your latch on this side, and your whole window folds right down. We use our stainless steel hinges here. They rivet right on. No pinch, you can't hit your finger or anything. They'll, they'll last forever, no rusting. You fold down just like this. Then we came out with a new bracket in the front. Some of our under, other windshields attached on the side. We needed to figure out a way around that because this glass is so big. We actually made a bracket come right out of the front and our same Jeep style latch hooks in here. You slide it up, pull it in and latch it right on like that. Then you're nice and tight. You can head down the trail, keep your window down and have full airflow through the cab. So another nice thing about this windshield, once you, once you flip your window down, you have a really nice open area here for anything you might need to do. You can lay maps down on it. You could eat lunch on it, set your lunch box out, um, building plans, whatever you might need to do. It's also a really nice shooting surface. If you need to rest a gun, you can shoot out of it, shoot off of it. Something else we really wanted to address with this window, we wanted to make sure you could still put your mirrors on it. Cause when you get these Rangers loaded up with a rack like we have on here, it's hard to see out the back. So mirrors can be really important on these, especially if you're plowing or doing something like that. We made sure the brackets would fit right on here and the windshield will fold up and go right past it. Folds up real nice and easy. You can latch your, thing, your rubber latch down. It'll hook onto the front. That way when you're going down the trail, it's not bouncing around. You'll fold your window right up. It'll clear your mirror nicely. And we actually put, we really made sure to gasket this tight around the edge. So you'll compress your gasket, turn your latch, come right over to the other side. You're latched in and ready to head down the trail. We're gonna pause for a minute. I'm gonna pull this windshield off and then we're gonna run through the full windshield installation for everybody. All right, we're back. We got our windshield pulled off our Ranger here. We're ready to go through the install procedure for you guys. When you first get your windshield, you might wanna lay it out like this. It's a little bit easier to see everything. It'll come with all of your mounting hardware and some additional gasket so we can get a really nice tight seal around the edges. We are really proud of the fact that this windshield is so easy to install. It will go into all existing bolt holes. All you have to do is remove some of the factory bolts and replace them with some of ours. You can do it all with hand tools. Obviously, if you have some electric impact and things like that, you can make it a little bit quicker, but you can do everything with hand tools. You're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver, a flat head screwdriver. I'm going to be using a 3 8 ratchet. A an extension here. I've got a T40 Torx bit, a 10 millimeter socket, a 3 8 socket, a 7 16 socket, and then a 3 8 and 7 16 ratchet wrench. A little bit about the hardware here. We've got some metric bolts to replace the factory bolts that we'll be pulling out. And then we've got some standard bolts here. It's important to keep those separate. We don't want to get them mixed up. You'll be able to tell the metric bolts because they are serrated bolts. You can actually look under the flange here and you will see some ridges. That's the easiest way to keep those separate. 
All right, so now that we've got our tools laid out and we're ready to get started on this, I'm going to start with our upper bracket here. It's the long skinny bracket. We will also need our, this is our center clamp for the upper bracket, it has two bends in it. And we'll grab a three quarter inch long quarter inch bolt and nut. So I'm gonna take this, slide it right in here. It's a nice tight fit so it'll stay up there. It's important to push it to the top of the channel. Make sure it's all the way up, nice and tight. And I'll climb right in here. Put the bolt in from the outside, that way you have the nice part showing. Put it on there loosely. I'll grab my 3 8 and 7 16 wrench. Make sure that's good and snug. Next, we'll grab our side clamps. They're the only other two clamps we have here. And for this, we'll grab our, they're the quarter by 20 by one inch bolts. They're a little bit longer. And then two nuts. I'll line it up and just get the, get the hole lined up with the bracket there. Slide the bolt in from the outside. I typically like to put them both on loosely before I tighten them down. Same 7 16 and 3 8 wrenches here. So now we'll go ahead and get both sides tightened down and we'll move on to the next piece. All right, so the next part we're gonna put on here is going to be the front rest for the windshield. To do that, we're going to pull off the hood, set that on the side, and we're going to be taking out these four bolts here on these two uh, steel brackets under the hood. The front two are going to be a 10 millimeter socket, so we'll go ahead and pull that out. Mine are loose right now, but. Pull that out. The rear two are going to be our T40 Torx bit. And we can just set these bolts aside. We're not gonna need them. We're gonna be using our own. Okay, once those are out of the way, we're gonna take our bracket here and you'll see the lower two holes in the grill. Our bracket will slide right in those two and line up with all four holes. Now I'm going to grab all of our, our four metric bolts. These are the ones with the serrated flanges on them. That's the best way to tell. I'm gonna put the rears in. Just get them started nice and loose. Now the front, we're gonna to wanna to use these little spacers. The aluminum spacer will go between our front rest bracket and the plastic that comes in from the grill. And we'll slide our bolt right down in. Might need to move the bracket over to line it up. Okay. 
Now that we've got everything started, we're gonna take our 10 millimeter socket, go ahead and tighten everything down. So we will get these tightened down and then throw the hood back on. So after we get our front windshield rest all tightened down and good to go, we won't need to get into the hood anymore. We can reinstall that. Should have plenty of clearance right there to install it with our new bracket on there still. Latch that down. Next is gonna be our gasket. So we send the windshield with two 27 inch strips of gasket. We're gonna to wanna to install them. We can start right from this piece and head down to the corner. All you have to do is pull a little strip off the back. I'm going to put it right in the corner of the roll cage. You'll see where it lays in there nicely. And it should go right about to the bottom down here. Just make sure it's nice and straight. And that will give our windshield a really nice seal along the ed edges. We're gonna get ready to install our lower panel now for the windshield. To do that, we're gonna have to gain a little bit of access to the back of the dash, and we're also gonna have to open up some mounting holes. So, we're gonna need to remove a couple of these plastic rivets here. To do that, we, you can use a screwdriver, pop the top of the rivet out a little bit. Um, you may wanna put some tape around the area so you don't scratch up your dash. I have this little rivet tool here. We can slide that in right behind. Pop it out, just like that. There we go. This one I'll show you how we can use the screwdriver. Pop the top of the rivet off. And then I'll use my right here. We're getting the two closest to the center in the front, here and here, and then also the two that are holding the cup holder down. And we've got all them out. Set all this aside. The cup holder will pop out really easily now. We can just pull it straight towards the center of the cab, just like that. Now we have access all underneath the dash. We can get to those holes and mount our lower panel. Our holes are cleared out and we've got access to the back of the dash now. Now we can go ahead and get our lower panel in. So this is all one piece, we'll slide it in all together. I'm gonna line it up right here. You'll see the little ear that is gonna line up down there. I'll push it a little bit to get it in, but it should pop right into place. Then we're just getting into bolting it down. So I'm gonna grab, we have our quarter by 20 by three quarter inch long bolts. I have two of them and two nuts. You'll see where the tab on the roll cage lines up with our mounting ears here. I'm gonna put the bolt in from the inside right into the cage. Put that on loosely. Come around to the other side. Got that. Now we'll put the lower two bolts in. These are gonna be our longer quarter inch bolts. They are the inch and a quarter. And you'll see where the holes in the panel line right up with those rivet holes that we took out earlier. When you're in here, you'll be able to reach right into the back of the dash. It's very open. Now we've got everything installed loose. We're gonna leave it just like that and we're gonna grab the windshield panel and get that set on there. We'll get everything lined up and then get it tightened down. We got our lower panel installed. We left all the bolts loose. That way in case we need to adjust it later, we can. I'm gonna come over here. 
grab our window. I like to put it on right from the front. That way you can look at your hinges and kind of line them up. We're then gonna use our last two quarter inch bolts that are left and nuts, they're the stainless ones. Slide them in right from the outside. Throw a nut on. Do the same on both sides. Next, I'm gonna grab our Phillips screwdriver and 7 16 wrench. We're gonna go ahead and get our hinges tightened up because we're not gonna have to take the window off anymore. You're gonna wanna snug them up so they won't rattle, but we're still gonna wanna be able to move the window. You can tighten one up and check it. Come over and tighten the other side up. Now our window's bolted down. Next thing we can do is flip it up and check our alignment. We're gonna wanna look at both sides, the gap on either side. That's why our lower panel is a little bit adjustable in case you need to move it up and down. Next thing we're gonna do is set one side and we'll adjust the side we'd like to move a little bit. Our passenger side looks pretty good right now, so I'm gonna push it down, set that in place. I'm actually gonna flip the window down. It's a little bit easier. To do that, we're just gonna use a, a 3 8 wrench and a 7 16 It's a little bit tight fit in here in the cage, but just tighten it right down. I'm gonna take a look at the other side now. Flip the window up. I think this side could shift up just a little bit. So I can slide it just like that, push it up. Then I'll fold the window down and tighten it down a little bit. Now we'll check it one more time. We will want to push it down and latch it. So while we're checking the alignment of our windshield, we're gonna to want to flip it and take a look. If our gasket doesn't quite line up with the edge of our windshield here, we can actually adjust that just a little bit. We want, it, we want our windshield to come right against the top of that seal. That way when you flip up, to get this windshield to lock, you're gonna push down a little bit and then turn. That way it always keeps a little tension on the latch and keeps a nice tight seal. Our last two bolts to tighten up for our install are gonna be these two center bolts. Um, you may need to have some help for this, so Erica's gonna give me a hand and hold the nuts on the inside. I'm gonna reach right here with the 3 8 wrench on the outside. Tighten this one up. Now we'll switch over, tighten the other one. And now we're installed. We're good to go, we have a functioning folding front windshield. Okay, now that we're all bolted down, we can go ahead and install our cup holder again. Move this down. Folds down real nicely now. I'm gonna come around here, grab our cup holder. This will slide right back in where we pulled it out of. We'll take our two plastic rivets 
pop them right in place. That's real easy, you don't even need any tools. And we're set. So now whenever I do an install, it's good to go over everything, make sure everything functions well. We're gonna wanna flip it up, latch everything down, make sure the latches line up, flip it back down. Make sure our front latches line up. I like to latch them both at the same time so you can really pull on it. Make sure everything's tight. Now that you've checked that everything's tight and lined up, you're good to go. I hope to see you out on the trail.